Rob here at the Ministry of Temporal Mechanics. Let's do some time traveling. Antique gauges can be really beautiful and very collectible. In this video, I'm going to be restoring a small vacuum gauge from 1903. Over time, oxidation on the bronze or brass bezel can make it difficult to remove. But a little bit of penetrating oil and some patience does the trick. I got lucky. The pointer came off fairly easily. Sometimes it's difficult and I have to be pried off very carefully or with the use of a pointer pulling tool. The face of the gauge is almost always made of brass and sometimes, like in this case, It'll be plated with nickel. I'm using a dry graphite lubricant to clean out any dust and grime that's accumulated over the years. The solvents will evaporate from the lubricant and leave the interior of the gauge totally dry. Next, I'll polish off years of oxidation from the body of the gauge using a copper polish that contains a mild acid which makes the oxidation disappear. You can get a similar effect using lemon juice, but the polish works best because it also has an abrasive in it. An old toothbrush helps to get into crevices in the threads. I use a piece of corrugated cardboard with the polishing cream to polish out flat surfaces. Many of the rounded surfaces are polished by hand. On this particular gauge, the casting on the back had a rough texture, so I decided to use a rubberized abrasive tool on my Dremel to polish it out. I was careful not to remove all of the texture. I wanted to leave some of the character of the original casting intact. Most of the time when restoring such objects, I don't highly polish them. I like to leave the original raw brass look that they had when they were manufactured. However, this particular gauge looks as though it's been damaged. It appears as though teeth of pliers gouged into the side of the gauge, probably while it was being removed from some application. I'm going to sand them out and then highly polish the entire gauge. After sanding out deep scratches and gouges, I use a very fine 1000 sandpaper by hand prior to polishing. I'm going to also remove these tool marks in the brass coupling. Cleaning the face of the gauge with an abrasive has to be done very carefully so as not to remove the nickel plating though there are some folks who intentionally remove the nickel plating to go down to brass to produce a polished brass face. The engraved numbers on the face have lost some of their paint through the years. 
so I'm using flat black paint on a brush to replace it. To remove the paint from the face without removing it from the engraved numbers, I use a piece of cardboard wet with acetone. Let the paint dry well before doing this. Now it's ready to reassemble. But wait, how does a pressure gauge work? The pressure gauge was invented in 1849 by a French engineer named Eugène Bourdon. He initially designed the instrument for steam locomotive engines in an effort to reduce the number of deaths from steam engine explosions. This thin piece of brass is actually a hollow tube called a Bourdon tube named after the inventor. The pressure goes into the tube and it stretches it out, not unlike this party toy. The movement in the tube is transferred to the pointer via a small gear. Back to the assembly. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe even got something out of it that you can apply to your own projects. And be sure to check out some of the other videos at the Ministry of Temporal Mechanics.